school time, and, and it's still happening. Classical music is still used in movies, it's still used in cartoons, it's used in Spongebob, you know, and Ren and Stimpy and whatnot. But I grew up when they had the Warner Brothers cartoons, and so you were exposed to classical music whether you realized it or not. But I can remember lying there one evening and hearing this voice come over the radio, and literally, I just got chills and hot and cold flashes running up and down my body. I still remember that as being, it's the first really strong aesthetic experience I had with music that, that caused me to have that reaction. And it was Barbara Streisand who was singing People. And when she hit that high note, I thought I had just gone to another plane of existence, you know. And so I think music has just been such a part of my life. What I do in this room, it's not for me. I mean, I love the music and I like playing it, but it's for other people. It's, number one, it's for the listeners. I'm always thinking, what are you doing? Are you in an office? Are you in your car? Are you painting? Are you in a barn? But I think about this music as the soundtrack of your life. And maybe that means you're very present and you're sitting in a chair with headphones on and you're listening to every note. But I think more and more in this, you know, fractured age in which we live in, that you're probably doing something different. You're probably doing something while you're listening to the music. So I'm thinking about that too, playing things that are engaging, that catch your attention, but also things like a Mozart clarinet quintet. I think you could sit and listen to that and do nothing but listen to it and be carried away by it. Because to me, life without music is, is just, there's something missing.